Welcome to Dramatic Pause, a Rose Theater podcast. On today's episode, we're featuring Brian Gehring and Alex Meyer. All right. So how's it going? My name's Alex, and I am with Brian Gehring, the Education Director at The Rose. And we're just going to talk to you today about um, the upcoming Virtually Awesome Summer at The Rose and, you know, why you should take classes and camps online with us and uh, what it means basically for the summer at the theater. Um, So, Brian, why don't you go ahead and give a little introduction and tell us who you are. Yeah, great. So, my name is Brian Gehring. Um, I am the Education Director here at The Rose Theater. I've been, um, I'm also the Playwright in Residence. So I act in shows and direct, and I um, run the education team, and I've been on staff for over 20 years. Awesome. So um, in those 20 years, you know, we've always had the summers at the theater, obviously, and at our studios and all that. So um, obviously, this summer is a little bit different. And so can you kind of tell us and tell the listeners about what the virtually awesome summer is going to entail and um, just kind of maybe give a little synopsis over um, what's going to be happening this summer? Sure. It's going to be, first off, the most important thing is it's going to be virtually awesome. It's going to be so much fun and creative. Um, you know, when the pandemic struck, you know, the the education staff was really, we weren't going out to the schools, obviously. And so we spent this time really researching the best ways to continue doing drama um, through the digital medium. Right. So we took a bunch of webinars. We talked to edu- I meet with education directors from across the country every week yeah. about best practices. And we did all this research about how to still um, teach drama and how to still connect with young people um, in our new medium. Um, and we did we did some pilot things. We did a teen theater young playwrights festival. We, so we did performance work. We also did some, um, a few classes online. So we have learned a lot. And so we are ready to make sure we have a great summer. Um, so we have two main classes at the Rose Theater. Um, the first type of camp we have is a production camp. And these camps run um, generally three weeks long um, and they end in a full performance. Yeah, so one so, that I definitely did want to highlight was Wind in the Willows. I know that we got that one coming up and, and that's a pretty one that you're excited about specifically. Okay, I love that story, right? So it's it's Toad in Toad Hall and he really likes driving fast and like, and his friends badger and they have to like they have to make sure they keep the weasels out of there um so that camp in particular so it's going to meet from nine to noon for three weeks right so it is the mornings will be spent doing rehearsals um and doing ensemble and acting work um and then uh and it's going to end in a full performance of the script so it's going to be auditions and then do script they're going to learn about their acting tools and they will be given and when we say nine to noon, it's not nine to noon without nine to noon without a break, right? So we're gonna take yeah. a break at least every hour, and we are really focusing in on how can we make off-screen creative challenges. So there will be challenges, especially for these camps. Like, great, well, how are we gonna make small costume pieces to help create our different characters? They might actually do some really fun video work where you have to create your own. 30 second video as if you're a weasel trying to do a big fight at Toad Hall that they're going to put together in the final show. Yeah. You know, and like, yeah. and we're going to do a lot of work. It's really important that we are not going to be sitting in front of our chairs and, and in front of the screens the entire time. We're going to do some things sitting down and doing a question of the day and doing some discussion, but we're going to do a lot of things, remove the chairs back and use our entire bodies and get our entire, um, get our whole body and voice imagination into this. Yeah. And so that's, we're gonna do- that is one thing I feel production. like, that, yeah, full production. Yeah. And that, I think that's one thing that parents have been kind of struggling with to find during this time is, you know, things that they can do either with their kids or their kids can do alone. And I think that these classes are going to offer a great chance to kind of, you know, get into the digital aspect because a lot of, you know, kids have their screens and they got everything they, they want to do. And so I think this is a fun way to get that along with some things that they can do, you know, physical, um, physically, and they can get exercise. And I think that it's just going to be great for, for the kids. So um, yeah, if you want to yeah, you know, elaborate and, on that. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited about, so the young people in my life, um, are feeling one of two things. Number one, now that school's over, they're kind of like, I have no structure and nothing going on. 
So we're really hoping that, hey, take a three hour class at the Rose, whether it's in the morning or the afternoon. So then you've got three hours of structure time where you are meeting with other young people, you're being creative, you are working together and you are really have a structure to the week, which then will be great. Cause then when that's over, you can spend, go, then go outside and do your other things or other games. And so you still have a really fun summer of you've got, you're learning, you're being creative, but you still have time to get away from the screens and go outside if it's a lovely day or go read your book or go just run around. Yeah. So we're really excited about um, the idea of doing a three hour class. Yeah. Especially those, you know, the kids that really crave the theater and the theatrical part of it and that crave that imagine imagination and creativity. I think that it'll be great for them. And so when you said like a three hour, four hour, you know, class from, um, from till noon, I, all the classes aren't that long, are they? No, mo so I'm, so looking at our camps this summer, I will say, I want to say 90% of our camps this summer are half days. Mm -hmm. So they're either nine to noon or one to four. They're one or the other. Mm -hmm. So it is really geared up. So you are spending half your day or three hours a day yeah. doing theater work and then the other half doing, um, doing other fun things and having a fun summer. Um, so we do have a couple camps that are all day. Um, we do have one art of theater design camp that's coming up. Um, and that's only one week and it's all day. Um, and that, again, is going to have some introduction to the um, learn about different design prospects, but it's an art class. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of off screen. Great. Hey, I want you to spend the next hour working on this assignment and I'll be on here if you want to check in and I'll give you feedback and help you grow. And so it's a visual art class and they're doing a lot of projects during the day. But yeah. that one is nine to noon, with a, a big break, yeah. lunch. And but they also they also get to you know kind of go off like you said on their own and and do the crafts and and different types of art things and and that's a way for them to learn kind of the back end side of theater right like um because th the art of theater design I mean there's so much that goes into it you know from production to you know behind the scenes everything um, run crews all that stuff and these and props I mean painting you know scenic design everything so I think that's a, that's going to be a great way. Um, for, for kids that, you know, kind of aren't sure yet and they, they maybe want to see what it's all about and they can take that class first. I, I feel like that. Yeah. Or if they're really into visual art or things like that, Michael Miller is such and such an incredible teacher of theater design. Yeah. Um, and so he has been experimenting with like, great. How do you teach about light? And yeah. how do you figure about like light design with a flashlight and a shoebox and, and teach about different colors and how do you do art projects and things like that. And that classroom be cool because they will also have um, a box of art supplies that will be provided with um, the camp. And yeah. so that way the young people get to do that too. Yeah. Great. So I know, um, we've talked about all that. So what, what else do you think kids should be super excited about? Like, do you have any specific classes you want to highlight? I know like we got Robin hood. I know we got little Rosie's, which is new. I don't know if you want to talk about that or if we should wait and talk with Stephanie sometime about that, but you can kind of, we should all talk about it. Right? Let's all, all talk great. about it. Yeah. So, I, you know, the thing is like, so far camps, we have those production camps that are three week camps that do a full 60 minute show at the end. And that's a lot of rehearsal and that's going to be getting to character and figuring out, how we're going to do backgrounds and scenes and, and all of those wonderful things. Mm -hmm. And we have a wide range. So, you know, Wind in the Will is going to be a script that they're going to be working on. We're going to be doing a musical called The Big One O, which is written specifically to do on Zoom, which would be really fun and cool. Then we have an improv camp. That's going to be performance improv, which will do a full performance at the end. We have the teenagers are going to do Frankenstein, which is like this amazing thing. They do all this shadow puppetry work and like, she, Stephanie's really leaning into the, um, like the black and white um, old movie Ooh, styles. They're gonna nice. do like, they're, yeah, they're gonna do like all this like grayscale makeup and all wow. the shadow work. So are they gonna, are they gonna learn to do that? Like, is that gonna be kind of part of the class? They're gonna kind of learn how to do that? Absolutely. That's, um, yeah, that's and then, <laughs> and we also have like, we're gonna have a sketch comedy camp. So that way, uh, that we have teenagers and they're gonna write their own sketches kind of like a Saturday Night Live and they'll do that performance. We're gonna have one called Tales from the Tower that is gonna be a devised play that the cast creates their own stories based on all mm. those fairy tale characters who are trapped in the tower and yeah. can't get out. So how something like that, how would something like, 
sorry, how would something like that work? I mean, where, um, you know, each kind of each kid, each students at their house, you know, when they're all having to devise things at the same time, are they going to kind of have to do the, like break off into groups? I mean, how, how's that kind of going to, going to work? Sorry about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like specific, there's different ways of devising and there's different ways that the, our great teaching artists are going to lead those camps. Yeah. So what's going to happen is usually in a devising camp, we spend a little time on learning basics of acting and we, you know, make sure we're all doing all the ensemble work so we get to know each other. Um, and then we take classic stories like Rapunzel and we kind of split them into small groups and say, great, excellent. Uh, I want you to do a modern version or twisted version of Rapunzel <laughs> and like say, is she trapped in the tower because of COVID? Or yeah. I don't know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or how, she, or yeah. what, or what is your version when COVID is over and you go running right. around with your long hair? Right, you can finally too. let your hair down. Right, or is your hair as long as Rapunzel when you go back to school? I mean, like I don't know. Has haircut. That's yeah, you know, like Alex, uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, you know, or and so they're gonna get to choose whatever fairy tales they want, and they'll brainstorm a bunch of different ideas, and then as a cast, they will then figure out their scenes, and their final show will be. Like, if you want to do a scene about, um, you know, Rapunzel, then great. Then we might end up doing a scene where three or four of us all act up those different parts to create that. Um, yeah. And then maybe Sam else is going to do a new version of, like, Sleeping Beauty. It's like, she got cursed and then she's stuck there, you know. Um, uh, so, like, they're going to create their... So the show is going to be really based on the ideas of the young people. Um, and some might be individual monologue work. But a lot of it's going to be small scenes and small groups. The great thing about these camps is we're going to do, we're still going to do small group work yeah. and there will be two um, full-time teaching artists who are, you know, in all the classes. So in addition to our full-time teaching artists who are all you've seen on our stage, mm -hmm. we also have six interns coming in from all over the country and they're theater education majors from some of the top universities all over. And they're going to be helping out this summer too. Yeah. So, but in addition to all of those production camps, we have a bunch of one week camps. So, they and those range everything from the of course obviously popular harry potter weeks, yes where they create their own character and they get sorted and they go through different classes and so we're gonna do our digital harry potter camps we have like a secret agent academy coming up yeah. we have hotel transylvania we've got hamilton camp mm -hmm. we've got robin hood so they're gonna do a, a radio play so yep. that's gonna be all kind of like this podcast right but yeah. with sound effects and things like that um so and then we have, so the week-long camps really have a little bit of everything. So if you're really, really excited about Harry Potter or Star Wars or one of those things, come take that. If you just want to learn about basics of improv, come take basics of improv or come do a, work with a little bit of scripts as we do. We have a young actors class and a young directors class. And so there's just so many different opportunities for young people to say, hey, I want to try that. And which is great because even... Of course, we're going to have our drama geeks who love theater and mm -hmm. will be excited to come back this summer. But we have so many young people. This is the first time they've taken a drama class. Yeah. And that would be so exciting to choose something that you're excited about learning. Yeah. So um, let, let it, let's take a second to talk about the youngsters and Lil Rosie. So let's kind of touch on that real quick. So do you kind of want to explain what that, what that um, entails for yeah, little, yeah. the youngest two to five-year-olds? Right. Well, who? Right preschoolers and zoom that's a little challenging yeah. is it? it's challenging right? for us i mean come on yeah yeah it's yeah whew. Yeah. yeah for me uh <laughs> yeah when we have three hour meetings like i need breaks and i need to stand up and, and run around right yeah so our, our preschool classes um are really going to be much shorter they're not going to be three hours right no. so we have a bunch of one hour classes the summer and summer even 45 minutes so we have week-long classes that just meet like from nine to 10 for a full week for our mm -hmm. preschool youngsters. Um, and then we also have classes, Little Rosies, which is gonna be about musical theater. So they're gonna be actually learning um, all about how to like sing and dance in an age appropriate way. And that'll be once a week on Saturday mornings or Thursday afternoons. So that, so if you wanna do once a week, do it if you're preschool. Yeah. If you wanna do it one week for one hour every day, do that. And that's something to try out when, you know, when you got a, a two to five year old, you know, they got so much energy and they're ready to go, go, go. And it might be, it's a good way for them to kind of focus on something and, and keep them engaged in a way that's productive and also fun. Yeah. And, and I will say like, so Stephanie's doing the little Rosie's class and, and she, 
you know, has been teaching some preschool classes online and done a lot of research with, um, uh, with teaching artists who used to work at the Rose who are full-time preschool teachers. Um, and so she has really, um, really emphasized that in her classes, she's not just gonna sit down and talk to them for the entire time, yeah. but she has videos to watch as part of it and she breaks it up and she puts things up on her Zoom screen and she goes through and, and does a lot of movement. And so she, they're gonna be such fun classes yeah. and they're gonna be so, um, and, and I will tell you, another question we get a lot is what is parental involvement? You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. 10 and up are so comfortable with um, digital stuff, most of them, that'll be all right. like, they'll be fine. Yeah, right. They reminder. won't even want the parents there. They'll be like, I got this. Right. It might be a, remind them to wake up at nine o'clock to right. be there, you know? <laughs> Quick um, breakfast. And, yeah. We have, we have examples of like some things to keep in mind in your space to make sure that you mm -hmm. can move back, to make sure that you are wearing, not just wearing pajamas, right. but you're like, you know, you're ready to go for your day. Um, you know, for like the six to nine year olds, like our suggestion is to make sure that the young person, that the parent is there to sign them up and help mm -hmm. them get going in the beginning and be nearby in case there's a problem, right? If yeah. they want to be in the room too, or just reading a paper or doing something else to watch it, they are welcome to, and that's great. Um, but for our younger guys, we are expecting, like it's going to be geared up so then it's really for a caregiver and the young person. Yeah. yeah. But that's, work. that's a good way. You know, you get to spend more time with your kids too. And it's something you can do together. I mean, it's, it's a win-win, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, oh. and the exciting thing is like, as opposed to just watching like, you know, Sesame Street or Blue's Clues on TV, this is with a live teacher who can answer your questions and interact and, right. um, and really challenge you to, you get a chance to examine what a drama class yeah. the rose will be like and that's one thing about all our educators i think they have such a, a keen ability to engage youth and it's just it's amazing to watch them work and i'm i personally i mean i work in marketing so i don't really know too much about that you know i mean i could try <laughs> if you want to bring me on for a class i'm you know all right bring me on but we'll get I'll, I'll do it i'll do a zoom podcast class for you no Rock on. you can't really teach this i mean it's more like us we're just kind of talking you know it's it, this this isn't really i'm not super experienced with it but you know we sit down and talk <laughs> and it's fun so right yeah you know the great thing about our staff so like you know our our college interns this summer are all like going into the junior senior year at their universities and they're all theater education majors yeah. so they are all like they have experience working with young people um, at elementary schools and middle schools and high schools. They are yeah. taking education classes and they have um, also experienced being on stage. Yeah. So those are amazing right. teachers to have in the room. Yeah. And all of our staff, the full-time teaching artists, not only are we trained to be, we are trained actors and theater creators and directors and creators. You see us on the stage. We're professional artists yeah. who work at the Rose Theater but we're also highly trained educators. Mm -hmm. We all have experience both using drama to teach core curriculum and teaching drama for fun. Yeah. Um, and we all have lots of experience working with a wide range of ages. So we, say, if you added up everybody's experience, I mean, that would, I couldn't even, I don't even think I could add it on two hands, you know? I mean. Yeah, we are so lucky and such a talented, talented yeah. and engaging and fun oh, yeah. group of teaching artists. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say it's the best in the world. Okay. Yes. You're not going to find better, yeah. except at the Rose. Okay, so um, classes and camps start on the 26th, right? That's when the first one is, or well, the first uh, yeah. round. We've got so. three camps going that, that week. So mm -hmm. we're getting slowly started up, and then they go full blast starting June 1st. Yeah. So what would you tell maybe a family that's watching this, and they're kind of like, I don't know if that's what I really want to do. I mean, what, what would you kind of tell them as to why they should, why this is worth it, and why um, during this time, this is the, the best thing that they could have for their kids? I, I, I think everybody should try it. This is an amazing opportunity to take a drama class, right? So if you are... And one of the great things about this is you can take it with a friend who is in the same city as you are. So yeah. if you have a cousin who lives in another state and right. you're missing that cousin, we'll both <laughs> sign up for a drama class. What a have a whole family fun. class. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Take it all, all your cousins jump in and do the same production. Yeah. Rock on. Yeah. That's great. Or if you have a friend who moved away, here's a chance to reconnect with them in a really fun way. 
this is going to be structured. It's going to be creative. It's going to be fun. It is going to be engaging. It is your young people are going to learn by the yeah. end of the week. They will have gained um, confidence um, and and more connection to their creativity. Mm-hmm. They're going to have fun. They're going to connect to other kids in a safe way. And yeah. They're going to be led by educators who are passionate and excited and yeah. are so ready to teach the summer. Right. And I think during like this time with social distancing and all that, I just think this is a great way, like you said, to reconnect with friends that kids might not have seen because they need that. I mean, you know, when we were kids, we needed to, we needed to be around friends. We needed to hang out. We need to, so it's kind of like, as much as it's also a class, it's kind of a way to, to connect with your friends too. And, and if they have another friend who they're like, oh, I've taken camps every summer with this person. And now I'm going to miss it. We'll sign up for the same camp and you guys can take it online together. Yeah, we, we will spend, all of our classes are going to be small. Like we are, most of our classes are capped like at 10 or 12. Mm-hmm. So that way, again, it's going to be a small group of young people. Right. We spend a lot of time in all of our camps on getting to know each other yep. and learning about each other. So that way we can really help each other continue to grow and make really amazing friends who share the same creativity and love um, about these different topics as you do. Yeah. Man, that's a lot of information for parents to take in, you know? But it I is. Think, and yeah, go ahead. The thing is, we're here for you, right? So this yeah. is going to be a learning experience. And we're here for all those questions that you're going to have. Yeah. Um, and we're all going to learn together. And it's we're going to make the best of this and have yeah. an amazing summer. You know, and I'm going to say, uh, hey, if you're thinking about it, sign up because some of our yeah. camps are already selling out and yeah. having wait lists, which is mm-hmm. exciting that there's so much um, that young people are excited about this and parents see yeah. the value of this because they're going to be great. Well, well, like that's like you said. I mean, the cl- the camps are small this year just because we want to be able to focus and we don't want to have you know 40 screens on the same at the same time. So you um, can't do that. No, yeah, and I, and I think that gives a great opportunity for each each student to get their own individual attention and, you know, and they'll, they'll have this time with, you know, what you said, two, two, two educators per camp, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. So they'll have, you know, five, five kids can be with one at one time, five can be with another and they can, you know, if they have questions, it, I just, yeah, I feel like it's going to be a great kind of more intimate experience, even though we are all so far away from each other right now. Um, yeah. And it's so, going to be yeah. a unique experience and totally great. Mm-hmm. And I think we're all learning at the same time, how to, you know, how to deal with it and how to, you know, come together and this is a great opportunity i think to do that too so and it's supporting the rose which does such amazing work right. um the, the amount of work that we do during the school year to work with all of omaha's youth is just really incredible I'll say, and so yeah. this is this is the best place to work and it's such a great thing to support omaha that um yeah sign up for the classes because that's going to continue to keep the rose strong to keep doing his programs during this pandemic and then we'll be even stronger um, when we're ready to come back all together. Right. And if you want to see, uh, we just put out a bunch of uh, Rose memory videos and some of those are incredible. And those are people that have been taking these camps and classes at the Rose since they were kids. And um, since they were as young as, I don't know, two or three probably. So, right. um, and a lot of those, you know, become Broadway stars and um, television, all that stuff. And, and they've taken right. their passion for it and turned it into a career. Or they work in theater like we do, you know? Right. Or some of them are, um, one of my former students now is working at a hospital working in child life specialty, yeah. which is super cool. I have another student who's just graduating and was a big Rose kid, but is going off to study science. Yeah. But this is not about only for the kids who want to do this yeah. for a career. If they want to do it, this yeah. is an amazing foundation. But this really helps out with your self-confidence, your creativity, your connection, and it's fun. Yeah. So this is a really a great chance to really grow. Yeah. Um, and you can make lifelong friends. I mean, you know, it's a good way to make new friends, reconnect with old friends. And yeah, I think it's just a great way to build life skills. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's just going to, it's going to be, it's going to be different, but I also think it's going to be amazing in its own unique way this summer. And um yeah, I think, you know, if people want to send us in their, their clips of their kids learning this summer, we'd also love to see those. Um, we really want, we, we want to see everybody in action. So um, if you want, you know, you can also, if you have questions, you can email classes at rosetheater.org. You could also send those clips in if you want to there or post them online. Or, I mean, if you, if you want to send them through to your teacher, they can send them through to us. And we would just love to have those. Cause I think, 
um, that's just going to be a great way to show people that this is fun for the, for kids. And this is a great experience for the summer. And I, I, I think that, um, if, if we can show that to people online, I think that would be great. So yeah, it's going to be yeah. a great summer. I know. Yeah. It's going to be fun. All right. Well, do you have anything else you want to talk about or, or any last words you want to say to parents or, um, just, you know, listen to the podcast. Uh, so listen to the Rose podcast. It's a great thing to do when yeah. you're going out for your walk to get your yep. steps in, yep. you know, and, and I just want to say that like, Hey, the Rose is here and we are doing all we can to help all of our families and our young people stay safe, stay connected and stay creative. So that's what we're here for. Um, and really, we really want to work with your young people. Um, I think we're going to have a great summer. Yeah, well, all right. We, we're really happy that everybody tuned in to listen today. And Brian, thanks for, for coming on. Um, I'm glad we got these virtual backgrounds. I just got a green screen. So as you guys can see. Fancy. The yeah, so, you know. You're, we're you're both on fans. stage. Yeah, right. I'm on stage. Do, do, do. Yeah, like I said, not. I, I went the alternate route. I wasn't much of an actor, so. But, you know. Yeah, but you're there. creative and you have your own art form and, and you do so much great things for the Rose too. So um, we really appreciate all that teamwork. That everybody's yeah, I know. Doing. That, that's, it's it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a fun summer So for all of us, I think. So I'm, I'm excited to see what, uh, what all the educators do this summer and, and just see how much kids enjoy it. So, all right. Awesome to sign up and we'll yeah. have a virtually awesome summer. Yeah, <laughs> sign up today. Like I said, you can go to classes at rosetheater.org. You can go to just go to rosetheater.org and click on our classes. You can see a whole list down at the class filter. Um, once again, just rosetheater.org. Um, and then you click up on the top bar, you'll click classes and camps or education and class and camps. Sorry. So there's yep, two steps. So just go do that. Sign up today and we hope to see you next week and for weeks on after that. And we also can't wait to see you back at the theater. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. See you, Brian. Bye.